In today's video, we're going to create this X-ray skull effect in Photoshop. So first of all, we need a copy of our background layer. So go to the layers panel, make sure the background layer is activated and press Ctrl or Command J. Or there is another way you can easily drag and drop your background layer to this plus icon and you have the same result. Now we need to invert this copied layer. So go to the adjustment layer and choose invert or there is another way you can simply make sure the copy layer is selected and you can press Ctrl I and that's the same result. Now we need to turn whole image to black and white. So go to the adjustment layer and choose black and white. Now it's time to add our skull PNG to our document. So I'm going to just drag and drop it to my document. Now make sure that skull PNG layer is selected. Go to the filter, blur and Gaussian blur and put the radius to 1.5 press ok now decrease the opacity of this layer I'm gonna put it to maybe 60 percent now it's time to adjust the parts so press ctrl or command T and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and just put it to the right way now we should invert this layer so you already know the ways press ctrl or command i go to the layers panel and add a mask to this layer press b so your brush is already activated and make sure the foreground color is black because we are already working on a white mask so i'm gonna press x now i have a black foreground color so just decrease the brush make sure the hardness is zero and simply brush the eyes and maybe these areas I'm gonna increase and brush these areas a little bit so after you're done with brushing it's time to copy this layer so make sure the skull PNG is selected and press ctrl or command J and change the blending mode from normal to multiply and decrease the opacity a little bit I'm gonna put it to 50% 49 50% it's fine now it's time to add all color so I'm going to the adjustment layers and choose solid color and for the color I'm gonna put this color code right there and press ok now it's time to change the blending mode of our solid color so I'm gonna change it from normal to hard light ok now for the last step I want to increase the contrast a little bit for a better look so I'm going to adjustment layers and choose curves go to the properties put your pointer right there left click and another one this area and left click so it's a little bit too high so I'm going back to the layers panel and just decrease the opacity to like maybe 30 to 40 percent 35 is fine and there you go my friends much appreciated as usual and I'll see you in the next video